In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure Outlook 2003 to connect to our email servers. To begin with, I'm going to click on Tools, Email Accounts, then under the Email section, I'm going to select Add a new email account, then click Next. On this page, there's an option to create a POP3 account or an IMAP account. Both types of accounts are supported on our servers, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be selecting POP3. After you've selected which type of account you wish to create, click on the Next button. I'm now going to fill in these details. In the Your Name field, simply type in the name you want your recipients to see when they receive your email. In the Email Address field, type in your email address. My email address is going to be johnsmith at example.au.com. In the incoming mail server field, type in pop.yourdomainname. Because my domain in this example is example.au.com, I'm going to type in pop.example.au.com. For the outgoing mail server, type in smtp.yourdomainname. So my domain in this example is example.au.com, so I'm going to type in smtp.example.au.com. For the username field, you're going to want to type in your full email address. So in this case, my full email address is johnsmith at example.au.com. And for the password field, you're going to want to type in the password you created when you created the email account on the mail server. You're next going to want to go to More Settings, then select the Outgoing Server tab. And on this page, you're going to want to tick the box that says My Outgoing Server SMTP Requires Authentication. You're then going to want to ensure that the radio option that says Use Same Settings as My Incoming Mail Server is also selected. After doing this, go to the Advanced tab and you can configure your port numbers. Now, if you're using a non SSL connection and you're connecting via POP, then your incoming server port should be 110. For outgoing server, we recommend you use 587 if not using SSL. Now please note these port numbers can change if you're using an IMAP connection or if you're choosing to use an encrypted SSL connection. Now to determine which port numbers you should use if using SSL or IMAP, simply search through our support pages and you'll find the correct port numbers. After configuring the port numbers and SSL options as I wish, I'm going to click on OK. To test my account settings, I'm going to click on Test Account Settings. This will cause Outlook to send the test email to my email address. If everything goes well, I'll get all green ticks and it will say Status Completed. If any settings are wrong, I'll get a red X and it will tell me which section I did not configure correctly. After I've seen that everything's been successful, I can click Close, Next, and Finish. And if I click Send Receive, I'll be receiving the Outlook test message. Now if I ever need to change my settings again, I can always go to Tools, Email Accounts, but instead of going to Add a new email account, I can select View or Change Existing Email Accounts. And if I click on Next, I'll see a list of any email accounts I have in Outlook. To modify the settings for a specific email account, all I have to do is select that account and then click on the Change button. And I'm back to where we were earlier. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial.